on this part we are going to add the not found view. If you go to Visual Studio, you will see that we return the not found view and we try to get the actor details, but the actor does not exist in the database. So for example, if you try to delete an actor which does not exist, then the not found view will be returned. The same is true when you want to update an actor and also when you want to get the details of an actor. So let us run Visual Studio and see what happens when the ID is missing from the database. So in here let us go to Actors and then let's say I want to display the details of the actor with ID 2. Now since this actor exists you are going to see that we have the actor. Now let us change the ID to a number that I know I don't have any actors in the database, let's say 22 and then press enter. You'll see that an exception will be thrown and the exception is of type invalid operation exception and it says that the view not found was not found. The following locations were searched because by default, so in here we are in the actors controller, then details action. So since we are in the actors controller, it will go and search for the actors folder in the views folder and if it doesn't find this view in that folder then it will search in the shared folder. So let us just copy this name and then close the browser, go to the solution explorer and we are not going to add that in the actors folder because we are going to use the same view for the other features like for the cinemas, for the movies, producers. So we are going to add that view in the shared folder. Just right click in here, go to add and we are going to add a view. This is going to be an empty razor and the name is going to be not found and click the add button. Now here we are just going to add a simple div, so div and the div will have the class row and then text dash center. And inside this div, we're going to have an h1 tag, which says, let's say, you have reached the end of the internet. Let us save the changes. And now let us also change the text color in here. So let's say class and then text dash. So we have in here multiple text classes. So we are just going to use the info one, let us save the changes and run the application. So if you go now in here to actors and then details, let's say 22, you can see that you get this message. So here we can see that we get the text, but the text is not centered. So let us go back to Visual Studio and I'll just stop this project and then I'll add a div. And then in this div, I'll add a class called dash md, then dash six, and I'll set the offset to be three. Then just cut and then paste it in here. If you want, you can also remove the text center. And then down here, you can also add the horizontal line. And then after the horizontal line, you can add a button. So this is going to be a btn then btn-outline and this is going to be the outline success. The ASP controller is going to be the movies controller and the link is going to be home page. So let us save the changes and run the app one more time. And here let us go to actors, then details and then 22. So you can see that we have the message, it's centered, we have a horizontal line and you can go to the home page. You can also try this one with actors, let's say delete 22 or even the update, so the edit 22 and you have the same message.